Hey everybody, I got my dirge hat on. You know what a dirge is? It's a funeral lament, New Orleans dance, you know, where they go down the street in the casket and there's a song by the Kills, Doing It to Death. It's like my favorite dirge song. So this is my dirge hat, D-I-R-G-E. So anyways, I have a little update. I, I'm gonna be shutting down, which I'll put that in the caption. I'm gonna be shutting down today about one o'clock. I have some stuff I need to do with my dad because I'm his hero and I love being his hero and I can do it all. <laughs> so anyways, I thought I'd show some stuff in my shop, my other things that I have in my shop for fun this morning. Um, this rainy, cloudy morning. Uh, so, some of the other things I have in my shop that you might not expect, you know, because I just kind of, on, on my online store, and I like to put a lot of boutique clothes stuff. I sell seeds. I am a huge flower gardener. I love to, I love wild flower beds. It's kind of like my paintings, you know, I like the... I don't like order. I like a English cottage garden. I don't like design. I like to see what nature does. So these are nasturtiums, they're annuals. I have a tattoo of nasturtiums, but I'm not gonna show you because it's, it's kind of a disappointing. I've gotta get it fixed. I need to go to, usually go to Brian Russell, but he moved to Franklin, it's kind of hard to get him. He's the best tattoo artist in the world, but. I need to find somebody to maybe fix this. Cause one day I'll show you, but nasturtiums are my spirit flower. <laughs> um, they are annuals. They're good drapers at the edge of like a flower pot. They're edible even, which is kind of cool. You can put them in salads. Um, so anyways, these are half off because they're from last season. Uh, this is Hudson Valley Seed Company. I love the, their art, you know, original artwork, even on the outside of the package. Half off, nasturtiums, spirit flower, and they're in Lord of the Rings. If you watch the Lord of the Ring movies in the Hobbit houses, they're draped around the doors, which I love Lord of the Rings, so love these flowers they're so beautiful they're just the seeds are even gorgeous so i also have these really cool incense burners um these are this is lion craft and you know you lay it there's a little you stick the incense in there so i have suns and moons and i could even stick an essential oil and this you know the wood will soak it it's just so pretty so i got that i don't know if anybody burns frankincense resin or dried herbs but these charcoal things are kind of hard to find around here unless you just order them so i have a plethora of these um i love these kitchen medicinal posters so cool now if you're like me and you're not like real particular about frames and stuff and you kind of like 3d art on your walls you could definitely put it up with some fun tape or i mean frame it put a real frame with some like cool doilies or it's just, you know, get creative. But it, and I, this would be great in the kitchen because heart chakra, herb garden, tells you what everything is really good for. It's sage, mint, thyme, dill, cilantro, rosemary, parsley, oregano, and basil. Aww. And it has like everything that it's good for, endocrine function, um, Dill is good for intestinal issues. Awesome. Sage is a another one. It's good for the uh, it's a sore throat. So this is a every good um, woods granny wannabe needs one of these in there. These are I think they're I can't remember. I don't want to say I think they're like twenty two or something. Um, I got this great. Uh, Green Jade Gua Sha Stone. I think that's how you say it. I mispronounced everything. So anyways, Gua Sha Stones are really good for trigger points and they're really good for beauty. They're a beauty treatment too. Jade Crystals encourage cell metabolism and help counteract electromagnetic radiation. So if I took this out, I, I like it like, there's trigger points all up and down our arms that are connected with the neck. So it's really great if you have like neck pain, you can take the green jade and kind of find the tender spot, the trigger point in your arm and work it out and then stretch your neck. And it really helps to 
relieve that. So trigger point map with the body. It's one of my, one of my, uh, you know, massage therapists usually have things they're really into. Like I have a friend that's really into myofascial. I've had other massage therapists are really into lymphatic drainage. Me, I've always been kind of partial to trigger points. I worked at that chiropractor's office. So I like finding trigger points, releasing them, increasing circulation to the spot and letting the body do its own self healing thing. Um, trigger points are a lost um, modality in, in medical, in the medical field. There's been some books written about it, but a lot of anti-inflammatories and pain medications, they actually exacerbate exacerbate i don't know if i said that right trigger points so those uh those gua sha stones are really good to help break them up put a little arnica on it for the bruising and let the body self-healing mechanisms do its thing so um i got these really cool temporary tattoos speaking of tattoos they're really good you know mantras this one is love peace no, hope, peace, believe. They're backwards, you can't tell. You can probably see them, but anyways, um, these would be great stocking stuffers for your little rebellious 13-year-old or something. <laughs> um, they're real easy to put on. They don't last real long, you know. It's, well, I don't know, I tried one, but I'm always messing with coconut oil and stuff when I'm working on my clients. I got some art supplies. I I just have little bits of, you know, I would never say, oh, Florida Andalusian is a place to go get this. I'm not that kind of store. I'm kind of a, you know, there's little tidbits of my lifestyle, my little favorite things. So this is a dab brush. Uh, my paintings are very emotive and have um, big strokes. So I love stuff like this to kind of go in and get like some different details with a different style of brush that's, I'm, I'm more like, I like the little detail brush, like when I do faces and stuff and eyes and lips and, cause I like to, I like women's faces. I love to paint them, but I love like for the background doing brushes like this. So this one's seven, if you're a painter, if you're artistic, sometimes I have a few things that I like in my own artistic endeavors. I got, I have doTERRA oils here, and this one's Breathe, it's a roll-on, it's 19, um, it's got peppermint in it, this is, you know, I even sound sinusy this time of year, love these roll-ons to keep in your purse, you know, just, rub, you know, whenever I do an oil, like this one, I'll use it, this isn't a roll-on, but when I got my aromatherapy certification, we learned to put a drop in your hand. This one is strong. It's got cumin in it. Activate it. Breathe in. And I usually go behind my neck and I'll stretch because I get really tight at my occiput from working down all day. And I try to just breathe it in for as long as I can. Sometimes I'll rub it on my belly, you know, go to the trigger point, then you get the gua sha stone. And so with the roll-ons, you can do the same thing. It's just a lot, it's really handy, you know. And you gotta realize there's antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal elements in most of these oils. So they keep themselves clean. Um, okay. I got this, no, it's not um, really apropos for this time of year, but these wooden clutch bags, I'm gonna, I just love a clutch. They are just the funnest. So I've got this Chloe and Lex, I've got a lot of Chloe and Lex stuff. I love their stuff. I really like the style. They're, our styles are similar. So this one is um, 38. And it is real wood, and it's just, it's got a little thing for your phone. It's pink inside, just mm, with your dirge hat, your outsider t-shirt. So, Sturgill, Make Art Not Friends. This is such a good album, so different. Then he does an album that's like totally bluegrass. It's, I love Sturgill Simpson. So anyways, before I get off here, I got some stuff to do. Um, I had a client buy a painting. He was, it was different. I'd never had anybody do that before, but I've been putting my clients that I've been working on their names in this raffle. Um, it's 
my famous blue raincoat painting. He bought this and he was like, you should just raffle it off. So some of my clients, unbeknownst to them, have been, I've, you know, I've just been putting your names in this, in this raffle. So on December 23rd, the client that bought this painting is gonna come to me. I think that day, that's the day he's coming. Pretty positive. <laughs> I'm freestyling over here, baby. I'm freestyling. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna draw it with him here. So um, this is this painting's based off a Leonard Cohen song. Um, it's a uh, casually cruel. So it kind of reminds me of St. Vincent a little bit too, but it was one of my earlier paintings and it was one of those ones that was like an effortless. Some of my paintings, it seems like it's a journey and I'm never gonna get to the labyrinth and other ones are just like one stroke, boom, that's it, it's done. So I love this painting and I'm so honored that he bought it and whoever gets to take this home, I hope you um, love it too and please don't ever put it in the Goodwill. God, it breaks my heart when I go. One of my favorite places in the world is the Goodwill. I love the Goodwill in Paducah. The most precious people work there. Uh, one of them, no, Caitlin, I'm just gonna say it. I won't say her last name, but I love her. <laughs> She's like my vintage soul sister from another life. But um, sometimes I'll see original artwork in there and I'll, I'll buy it. If it's good, I'll buy it. I'm like, being an artist it kills me because our heart our blood our souls are in our paintings and it's not like what you get at freaking hobby lobby that's a production if you can get real artwork to put in your house you're putting the artist's soul in there it's good medicine man it's good medicine it protects your home it's like an altar just saying you got faith you gotta have faith Faith, the faith that yeah. <laughs> artists have faith. <laughs> we have faith in the production of something that has no value half the time. Most people are like, why do you even do it? I remember when I first started painting, people were like, what are you going to do with all these? And I'm just like, I just know. I got to do it. I got to do it. So I got to get back to work. And like I said, I'm going to shut early today. And I love everybody who watches my videos and my silliness and my dancing and my dirge. God, I love a dirge hat. I mean, you know, bad ass. Um, Y'all be good and have an awesome Thursday and listen to some Christmas music. Christmas is not over just because we had some bad luck in this town and we've had a bad freaking crazy year because everybody seems to have had one. The whole spirit of Christmas is being merry. Watch Scrooge, Bill Murray at the end. I want to feel this way every day. That's what Christmas is about, man. So listen to some Christmas music and be freaking merry. It's not all about just buying gifts. Yeah, I'm hustling. I'm showing stuff that I sell at my shop, but I don't really care if you buy it or not. <laughs> I just have fun. I'm having fun. I'm freestyling. I'm dancing. I'm coming to my favorite place every day. Doing massage. I got the life, man. I just like want to share it with everybody. If you love it, if you dig my style, we have similar taste, whatever. But I ain't like half off, clearance. I ain't corporate, man. I do a little dirge dance for corporation. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have an awesome day. And I'm sorry I'm such a geek. Thanks. Live long and prosper.